I'm wiping on my watch with little Jack here. She's happy, she just, she's on the second day of antibiotics, so she's gone a bit docile, but I know in a week, her eye will get better, infection will go away, she'll only have one eye, she'll need a carer, and I'm gonna end up, I've already told myself that if it means me looking after this bird and taking it for walks and giving it my life, so let it be, that'll have to be my life for a bit. I'll give up my guitar, got a bad finger anyway. At all costs, I'm gonna make sure little Jackie's all right, and she will be all right. I'm build her a little cage here next to Pigeon, and they can look after each other. Pigeon's up there, Pigeon loves his cage, he's upstairs at the minute, and I've had to make him a little run upstairs, because I need to put Jack door in there while I make this cage, because it's gonna be hard work. I'm cutting out there and it flies out, but I don't think she'll go very far. Oi, 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 no scratch, scratch her. See, she's just scratched her eye open and it's pure white, look. And then she closed it again. I'm gonna get, I've got some, I've just filled up this spray bottle. I'm gonna spray her eye, I'll put, I've let it cool down now. I've put water out of the kettle, descaled the kettle. And I've put sterile water in this. I just wanna get some liquid on her eye. She understands, she understands. She don't, she don't like it. That's it, no more, no more. Good girl, good girl. She usually climbs up the cage, but I think she's a bit, there we go. She's becoming more content. Instead of climbing up, I think she's docile. It's okay, Jack. It's okay, little one. She just feels a bit safe up there. She's gonna try flying and I can't let her because the garage door's open. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna put her in Pigeon's cage for a wee while. And then I can get on with the cage. There for a minute. She hates being caught. Door just in case she's going to be moving out in the next week. I've got a good girl. I don't know if you can see how poorly her eye really is. Don't worry, mate. I know you're happy. You keep smiling at me. Why keep smiling, mate? I'm here for you. So guys, I'll just show you where I got to. I decided I was going to build a thing there for the jack door. And then I was going to think about... My friend come round and he says, why don't we just cut all the panels out of this cabinet? It's not wide enough. I want him to be walking around a bit. He likes walking. But as a project, if anyone's interested, I'll make this into a bird aver. I'll take all the panels out, put metal in them. I'll cut out the sides, put metal in them. I could even do the backboard, put metal in them. It could be a nice indoor and you've got your cupboard at the bottom, put your food in. Anyway, this is my plan now. This is a, so when I built this for Pigeon, I built it with stable doors. I don't know why. Maybe I knew Jack Door would come in. So I'm gonna half it. And Jack Door can have the bottom. He's blind anyway, I'll put a light in there still. And then Pigeon just won't know, he'll still have his window and stuff. And then I can open that door in the morning for Jack Door. He can come and sit on this perch like he does. And But I've got to clear everything out of my garage. So I'm going to throw all this away, bikes away. I have to get rid of everything apart from my tools in that cupboard. Everything's got to go for Jack Door. So where am I at with there? Literally, I've got a little laser up. Give me a line around the perimeter. I'm literally just going to pin timbers up. She's just going to 
to probably put some screws in make sure I've got it right to that end on that line there on that line there cover your ears actually that's good Laser line showing. Should tuck it up so you can see the laser. A bit on the angle. Fire on the angle, it kind of grips the timber. If it was a permanent structure, I probably would have glued it. I'm going to put the same on this side. in there let's check your gauge because I was cutting ply earlier I always put my bad cut in the corner show it's level I didn't give myself much to grip onto there but it should be alright piece in there. I've got 650. Just keep climbing in and out. I've lost my pencil. I'm just gonna do it with my nail. 650. I shouldn't have had that that tight. Should be alright. It's only carrying six mil. Tapping up that end. You can see that. It's only thermalite, so easy fix. Bit for air. Move this laser off here now. Let's guesstimate this.
F that one. Pull that one out maybe. but I'll tie it in. That's one I made too tight. Because it's only a thin structure. It's good to have them tight on solid structures. It's only a solid structure. Literally, I'm just going to put some ply over this now. And Pigeon can still have his house. Cutting thin ply, change your, change your depth. If you change your depth when you're cutting thin ply, it cuts a lot smoother. Pigeons, pigeons nest up there. So now I jack the wall, put all this stuff in here. I like it, and I can keep the garage door open, so it's got air blowing in there. So you've got your tape on your tick there, tick there, and tick at the back there. And you can hit that pencil line there. Pigeon. Check his house. Put some new flooring down, clean that flooring all up for her. She's going to love that. Put all the food in there. Jackie's going to be happy. I think Pigeon will be happy as well. Pigeon house. Jack door house most of your space. That's Pigeon's cage, he gets to keep the same cage. He's even got the same little house up there. And downstairs, Jackie went straight on the perch, she likes perch. I think I should have put a bigger one up there. Maybe I'll put another one the other side. She's had a medicine, I'm just going to let her relax now. 
she's up there. She's got her own bowl. She's got food. I've thrown that Joyce in there just because she's familiarised herself with it. Because all the poo's on that. At least now I can contain the poo. But now my next task is to get her out. Get her out of the garage. So I've got a harness. I've got a harness I bought from a parrot years ago. And it seems like I bought it for £30 for this moment. I'm going to get Jack Dorr in the harness. Now, can't 